and welcome to the 8th eighth, eighth video of the tutorial series. Uh, as you can see the multiplayer is working and in this video I'm gonna show you guys how to get it working. Uh, first I wanna show you guys how to fix the bug I left in the 7th video and it was a small bug but it kinda ruined everything but uh, let me quickly show you guys that. Uh, here are some extra things that I learned uh, when I was working on my own game but for the bug for the fix um, you have to go to your multiplayer manager script and here on this line on the on level was loaded method you have to um, edit the RPC line and ha you have to add this parameter and in this function you have to add this parameter like a bull, boolean started and here is match started and here you have to add this line is match started is started um, that should fix the, the spawning bug and when the player is spawned you still need to um, like here in the player manager you still need to fix some stuff here in the play manager script well first I'm gonna show you guys how to do this one uh, here I have this new method that you can use that's easier and um, kinda yeah what's the word for it kinda needed for if you are in the editor like, uh, cause every time your display every time you change your script while you're in play mode then the the this player gets uh well it gets reset and it loses the reference to the player to the MP player. So instead of manually uh, doing this, like I have commented out here, but you can remove that part, just completely remove it, um, and add like the same stuff you do with a, a method, a code block you have to do get then again this part and then return, well let me cop just copy this part and that is not working why it isn't working I don't know, oh wait I see <laughs> now it should work, yeah now it works that's the only thing you have to do. Remove this line in the start of the play manager and add this part. And then it won't lose his reference because every time you ask for the disc player he will dynamically get the MP player for you. And then here the position and, st and so I um, I just built the game and tested the multiplayer and it is working I can't kill yet but I will explain that in the next video uh, but it is working and I can move and you see the rotation well that the rotation the rotation is kinda wrong but I'm gonna show you guys that next time but um, the character is like flying above the ground and you need to add an offset to that and for that offset you need to at the minus, well, it's minus one, I think, or minus two, five, but I do minus one for now. And if you, if I haven't showed this part in the f previous videos, then you should add it right now. And let me see if I have anything le left to show you guys. Uh, yeah, here in the multiplayer manager in the client. Uh, underscore add player to list we also move, move this line and then everything should be okay and if I save it now and go back to unity and make a build Okay, 
that's done. Then if I play here and play there, if I host the game here and start the server and change my name here and connect and start the match, you will see there's a spawn button on this one too. And I spawned in the second character. Like now you see the the character isn't floating anymore. Well we, we can see that like so this and if we go here it's a little bit floating but uh it depends per character model. So for right now it's good enough. And then next time I will show you guys uh, a couple of other things too. A little bit polish the game a little bit polish this and maybe if you have any request just post a comment or send me a private message and I will I will uh, respond and maybe your request will be in the next video so for now I will see you guys